going on everyone coming back with another video just wanted to get you guys another video before i go to the hospital um sorry if the camera's a little shaky one of my side effects is pretty unsteady hands but in this video though we're gonna be talking about top five mods to do to the jenny um this one is gonna be for manual guys sorry auto boys I'll probably do like a little honorable mention for one thing maybe for you automatic guys but all right so first thing every single one of you guys 3.8 and 2.0 guys um first thing you should do maintenance please do maintenance on this car like go make sure your oil is filled up right now like right now pause the video walk outside make sure that that oil is filled one minute 37 seconds later because i don't want to hear and I don't, i'm tired of seeing all these jennies blown up because none of you guys are taking care taking care of these motors so first things first get the maintenance done like right now maintenance is number one oil change oem filter only and for the 2.0s i run 5w30 because the 5w20 is way too thin and then like in the summertime i'll run 5w40 if it's like super hot where you're at because you don't want your oil thinning out especially in the 2.0s i'm not i'm not too sure what the 3.8 since you know i don't i don't got one i don't get to experience 3.8 issues next thing go low i feel yeah. like i'm way too low go get you some coilovers or some lowering springs something the jennies look so good low like i think that should be the first thing everyone should do just go a little bit lower coil overs or lowering springs but like right now i'm sitting on dc coil overs and i do want to switch over to uh some silvers or pbm because i do plan on next year drifting this car so right now i'm just kind of getting everything buttoned up for that getting it ready solid and dialed up so yeah coilovers i would recommend not cheaping out to like that's a pretty important part of the car like you're whole like you not only you know, lower the car but you're also messing with how it feels you're getting rid of a lot of body roll and just the overall performance like center of gravity is, is lowered so now your car is handling a lot different but i will say there's like a significant change from stock to coilovers on these cars that do make a big difference back again to the rear of the car next thing on my list number three get an exhaust um genesis coupes they got a couple of different exhausts you can get um, me personally i have ran a quad tip setup before i did like it it was a little loud for me because there was no mufflers no resonators so i, I kind of got tired of that setup sold it a while back uh, to another local guy but right now i got the isr single exit um turbo excess o2 housing and downpipe um, i'll get you a little sound clip right now The single exit though, I love how you can hear just straight turbo whistle. It sounds super deep. Honestly, kind of sounds like a Subi sometimes. 
but like only like low low rpms when you're taking off it's kind of funny but yeah so not only does the exhaust sound good adds a little bit of extra performance especially for the 2.0s um, this is also same thing with your 3.8 guys like the this this exhaust sounds pretty good i feel like the quad tips make make it sound just a little too just it's just too much for me i think but don't let that you know be the deciding factor of what exhaust you guys get i mean i also just love seeing this big ass cannon coming out the back all right so that was number three getting exhaust now on to number four go get yourself a short throw shifter or a chassis mount it's it's so much more worth it like and then at the same time honestly get the megan racing trans mount because it's gonna make a world of difference you're gonna get rid of a lot of the transmission slop and like all the extra extra play the throw becomes so much shorter like first second like so much nicer so yeah it's kind of like a two-part but for one because uh megan racing trans mounts like 100 bucks another 150 for a short throw so make the investment and then finally last but not least go get you an intake so I say intake because it makes the biggest difference in sound for sure um, that I noticed. Like when I swapped my factory one to the k and like all I heard was induction noise and it was just like, so, it was just addictive. Um, you hear so much more of the blow valve, so much more of the turbo. Um, overall, it's just, one of my favorite mods that I've done. Actually, also the first first mod that I did to the car. Um, the brand and type honestly doesn't really matter because it is a turbocharged car. Doesn't matter if you get a true cold air or the short ram. All your air is getting cooled by the intercooler. So don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I kind of know what I'm talking about, I think. Come on, man. But that's not the case with you 3.8 guys. Um, you should go get an actual true cold air intake. I know there's some, a guy on Instagram, some custom ones that he sells for the 3.8s. And then I've seen like the AEM ones that come down near the fog light and all that. So. You got like an option for that. Same thing with like the 2.0s. I went with the Canon short ram, but there's also the AEM and like the Weapon R and all that that you could go with. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Just get just get an intake. You can you could really honestly just do the stock stock intake tube with a filter. I've seen that that works too. So, all right, so. I think the list went maintenance, lower the car, exhaust, trans mount, and short throw shifter kind of combined, and an intake. A quick little honorable mention, I think all of Jenny's every single one bk1 bk2 should get a front lip because bk1s especially kind of suffer from like cleft lip kind of look so get you one of those oh my god <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs>